And back to China's capital, thousands of readers, authors, and publishers are gathering for the 28th Beijing International Book Fair, which will run until Saturday. With the advancement of technology, people can also partake in online streaming events. It's a paradise for people who love books, who love knowledge, who love to explore and learn life through wonderful books. We're able to understand Pakistan, its people, its history and its culture in a better way if they come and visit our strong. A massive book lovers meet up. The 28th Beijing International Book Fair will run for five days, with over 2,000 exhibitors from 105 countries and regions. Pakistan is the country of honor. This year's event is one of the first major international book fairs to be held online in person since the COVID-19 pandemic. We have faced many challenges to make this BIBF happen, like coping with the epidemic prevention and control measures. We require all the people entering the hall to show a nucleic acid test with 48-hour validity. BIBF is the first big international book fair to be held, both online and offline, amid the pandemic. London Book Fair and the Bologna Book Fair have both moved online this year. So we are hoping the BIBF can lead by example. There are a wide variety of activities being held online and offline. The book fair's official website is streaming events for those who cannot come in person. We are reading immersive exhibitions for science fiction. These activities take in the fair digital and make it available internationally. This device is called Smart Assistant. These assistants are able to present international publishers' titles to interested Chinese publishers and forward their contacts after the fair. In 2020, China had 494 million e-book consumers, 5.5% more than the previous year. The book fair aims to move some of people's focus away from electronic devices and back to the printed world. Wang Suwen, CGTN, Beijing.